Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about how to colour components and wires inside of AllCAD Capture and Capture CIS. So by default, when you're drawing a schematic symbol, um, you effectively just get this kind of bounding box um, with the pin names, pin numbers, etc. If we look under the options and preferences, these are the colour options that we have. So, you know, part body, part rectangle is this kind of brown colour, pin name is purple. And you can kind of just select here and make a... A different choice of color that you wanted to use and that would effectively then change all the colors of the parts and you can do that on a part by part basis you can also um, make this a filled rectangle or a stippled pattern or whatever you want to do from a, a simple point of view so the ideal scenario is you would do file open library open the library part and make the change there i'm just going to do it quickly here by selecting the part and do a right mouse button edit part this opens the part in the symbol editor if i then effectively select the outline you'll see in the package properties, you'll see the basic attributes. So I can change things like the line style, I can change the line width, so maybe it's slightly thicker. Uh, and I've got different kind of patterns to, to fill the body, so let's just make it a solid filled body. Once I'm happy with that, close the window off and we'll just update all parts. And that then gives me this kind of this default color based on the color that we had. Now I can override that, I can select each part and do a right mouse button, edit properties, or double click, and then you get this default color at the top, so I can come override that, so maybe make this one blue. Uh, we'll double click this one and make this one pink. And we'll do this one. Uh, let's do it purple. So that gives you choices of kind of the parts that you want. From a wire point of view, we can select each wire uh, and do a right mouse button. And we've got an option called Edit Wire Properties that allows us again to pick the line style. So if I wanted a dashed one, uh, the line thickness, and obviously the color as well. So let's choose red for this one. And that would then override the wire color. We can also do this on a net by net basis, so I've got a ground net here, so I could select the, the, the ground net and do a right mouse button, edit net properties, do the line style, uh, let's just make that the, the dashed, we'll give it the extra thick line and we'll choose uh, green, click OK, and then that would affect effectively the net on this page and on any other page uh, throughout the design. 